Here is a list of Photoshop tools that you will use in this design. This video is made for intermediate Photoshop experience, so it is assumed that you have a basic knowledge of these tools. You will be using the Magnetic Lasso tool, the Quick Selection tool, the Eraser, the Gradient tool, and the Text tool. Here's a list of materials that you'll need. You'll need the Photoshop program, which is a part of the Adobe Suite. You'll also need two images of the player that you're designing for. This should be a full body image and a half body image. And you'll also need a background stadium image. This could be the stadium that the player plays in. Let's get started. First, import your desired background image and center it to your liking. This could be the stadium that the player you are designing plays in. Place and link a black and white filter to the image. Also, create and link a gradient map and adjust it to the team's colors. Place a texture over the background. You can find these on Google Images by searching textures. Place a black and white layer over the texture and set the blend mode to screen. Adjust your texture over the background. Lower the opacity of the texture. And also, transfer the gradient map to the texture as well. Add a layer mask to the actual image layer of your background. Select the gradient tool and swipe up from the bottom to fade the background. Use the magnetic lasso tool and quick selection tools to cut out the full body image of the player. Hit select, inverse, and then hold command and hit X to delete the background. Trim with the eraser tool. Repeat the process for the half body image of the player as well. Place the full body cutout centralized on the screen. To edit this, hit Filter and Camera Raw Filter. I typically use these presets for action photos and adjust the exposure afterwards as needed. Contrast plus 40, Highlights minus 40, Shadows plus 40, Clarity plus 40. Adjust the exposure as needed. Place the half body image behind the full body image and size it like so. Hit filter and then that first camera raw filter option will put the same filter settings last used on this layer. Create a layer mask and use the gradient tool to swipe up and fade the bottom layer. This graphic is honoring Posternock's 500th career point, which is upcoming, so I am placing a large 500 behind him. Yours doesn't have to be a number stat. If it's an MVP graphic, you could just put MVP. Lower the fill of the 500 layer to zero. Add a stroke and adjust the size to your liking. Add a drop shadow and adjust the settings so that the number or word pops out. Then in simple text at the bottom of the graphic, finish the message of the graphic. In this case, it's career points. 
Add a duplicate version of the full body image player by copying and pasting the layer. Right click and flip the copied version vertically. Disproportionately decrease the size by holding shift and dragging the top down. Right click hit perspective and drag the lower middle box to the right slightly. Drag the copied version down to match the feet of the real version and bring the layer behind the real version. Double click on the copied layer and add a black color overlay and set the opacity to around 80%. Hit Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur and set the level to about 6 to 8. Lower the opacity to your liking. Type out the player's name in a script font. I am using Madison's signature demo, which you can find a link to in the description. It is free to download. Select all the letters, hold option, and hit the left arrow until it squeezes the letters in. This creates a signature type look. Place the signature in a spot where it will show nicely. If you liked this video, here are some extra links you might find useful. They are available in the description below. There is a link to some free textures and free fonts, as well as a tutorial on the magnetic lasso tool. Thanks for watching.